Okay, so I'm at the on the shore of Little Clear Pond right now. I'm about to embark on my first uh, adventure with this underwater photography project. I have the uh, uh, 200DL with my Nikon D750 in it. Um, the water's pretty cold. It's in the upper 40s right now, so um, I have on a wetsuit and I'll have a hood, uh, booties and gloves on to keep me nice and warm. My expectations for this trip aren't necessarily to produce an incredible uh, image, but more to familiarize myself with the equipment. Um, I've never worked with this underwater housing before, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna gear up and dive in. We'll see what we find. minutes um, definitely getting the hang of using the camera uh, water's pretty cold uh, but I you know I've been reasonably warm so far I haven't gotten any really good shots of fish um, it's kind of a crappy day and I the light isn't good anyway so anyways I haven't got any fish got some great shots though I think of all the logs and tree trunks that are underwater here so um, I'm gonna just head back now I think and strip out of this wetsuit and wait for the rain to subside and see if I can't get some good landscape shots as well anyways things have been going well I'm uh, really excited to be in the water with this camera and this housing and once I get a good hang of it I'm sure I'm gonna be creating some amazing images and I imagine I look pretty funny with <laughs> this wetsuit on right now. Like squishes my whole face up and everything, but uh, it's keeping me warm in this 40 degree water, so that's good.
just got changed, came down to the shore of the pond. I thought I'd show you around a little clear pond just a little bit and show you where I was snorkeling and photographing. So on the kind of the farthest I went was out to this point, uh, right about there, all along the shoreline. Uh, this is the boat launch area where I departed, and then I also uh, checked out a little bit of this shoreline over here. As you'll have seen by now, most of the photographs were of large woody debris or stumps, that sort of thing underwater. I think some of them came out fairly well, so um, looking forward to checking those out when I get back to the computer. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my journey to shoot underwater photography in the Adirondacks, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you next time.